Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am in the uh, shop today, feeling super good about being in the shop today. I've been thinking about it all week, and I was hoping to get here on Wednesday night. I had some other things that I had to do, and uh, I'm just kind of adjusting to new schedule, kind of everything that's going on. So, but anyway, here I am, and I'm really happy to be here. Uh, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do um, today. I really want to get this radio mounted and finished up and um, Most of all so I can investigate some of the things that you guys were concerned about uh, And I believe I have them covered and have already checked it out um, But I do have to figure out the location of the headset uh, jack mount and um, and just just double check one more time that the uh, you know the radio is not going to be a problem and it's in the location that I've chosen so uh, I've got my uh, hole drilled um, I think you saw me glue this in last time this support underneath here but I've got the hole drilled for the camera mount out here on the right wing tip I was just taking some measurements off of my antenna so when I do urethane this I'll kind of leave the wood bare um, in here where that's going to mount to and then I'll need to urethane this at the same time um, so that when I, I, it's easier to urethane without putting this in place first in behind it. So I'll urethane the back of it. I'll get some urethane around the edges here. And then, uh, when it goes time to epoxy it in, it's just cover up the bare wood with epoxy and put it in place. And, and uh, probably, uh, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to, uh, clamp that, but more than likely it'll be a blue tape clamp so okay or I could just stand the wing up and that'll probably make it easier if it's in the cradle over here I may do that um, but anyway I'm gonna work on the radio I'm gonna work on this um, I can start urethaning now um, because this is all complete I just have to get the clamp out of here and then and then we're all good on our supports uh, for the uh, tank here So that's all epoxied in um, Appreciated the suggestion about just putting some uh, Adhesive backed uh, once this is urethane. We'll put some adhesive backed uh, foam. I found it at McMaster car um, It's not very expensive. Um, I can cover this whole platform with foam and then I've picked up some Some foam that I'll use on the back and the front uh, from Home Depot And what I'm going to use for that is actually this right here it, it looks like that and so this is also adhesive backed and so I'll be able to apply that and that'll provide some decent cushioning to the front and the back and Yeah, so let me get some things set up and uh, we'll uh, get some things done today. All right. All right, so I've checked everything out, uh, and it looks uh, it looks pretty good. So um, uh, I did sort of box myself in with these screws where they're located in my uh, deal here. I do have the holes on the bottom to get to the screws, but I had an issue where I was not going to be able to get to the screws, um, it, like one at a time. It was going to be very fiddly. So what I did is I just took some of the foam and I kind of ran a couple threads of the screw through the foam and that's holding the screws in place uh, while I get this positioned and and get all the screws started and it, it, it did work out where the this location uh, uh, right here is actually a, a good location um, right here because when the cord came out to here it just basically drops down in my lap and it's not interfering with the uh, radio in any way so that is uh, that's where I'm gonna put those and the uh, location of the spark carry through uh, pin, you can't see it here maybe, but it's way back here. So it will not be interfering in any way with uh, what's going on back here either. So that's a good location. Once I get the screw in, I'll take a zip tie and I'll actually zip tie all of these to this corner right here. Um, I can't get the screwdriver in there if I do it first and then these will kind of be isolated and won't be able to flex and pull on any of the connections in here. So right now I just have them banded together 
but I will zip tie it to the corner once I get that in position. And then I'll connect the uh, push to talk down here somewhere with my push to talk wire that's actually coming out of my uh, coming out of my stick here. So, and that'll just happen right down here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this screwed in place. Uh, and once I get that, then we can we can jump to the next thing. All right. All right. So I got uh, I got everything mounted now. Um, this in place, and the radio is now in place. And uh, I hopped in and uh, checked everything out, and um, really, it's a it's a it's a really good fit. And I I know I won't know um, exactly until I get the. Uh, wings mounted and test the aileron movement whether or not I, I have full throw against my leg it, it it certainly as far as I can take the stick it certainly feels like I should have um, but uh, we will determine that pretty soon so um, yeah so I'm gonna hop from this at the moment and I'm gonna go over and start to um, start to work on uh, urethaning the inside of the uh, of the wing here so okay and that's kind of boring so I won't uh, I won't show you that but uh, I will uh, hop back on with you after a little while and uh, see if we're going to uh, jump to something else on my list so all right all right so I got um, I got the radio installed uh, like you saw, I got this in, I got the radio installed, and uh, the wires are right here. You just plug right in with no trouble, uh, just nice and smooth. And uh, this is a nice, nice secure mount here. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get, um, I got that done, uh, which, which feels really good to me to get that done. And then I got, uh, you know, I got some uh, urethane on here and over here. I got about two, about two bays uh, done with urethane. So uh, anyway, my time is up. I'm gonna go play golf with uh, my wife and my son. And uh, hey, I will uh, catch you later. Yeah, yeah.